All right, welcome back everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're looking at images that are unbelievably cringe. So you ever see something and physically react to it? Well, some of the posts in this video may actually break your cringeometer, uh, cringeometer. Now listen, I gotta say, I've seen some really cringy things on the internet. If you watch my channel, I mean, you've seen them too. Recently, I saw the transracial Ollie London who went from, uh, white to like Korean or something thing like I don't know dude complete psycho dude got like 18 surgeries because he wanted to identify as a member of BTS I mean I don't know what the world is coming to anymore I even saw that random woman on TikTok telling people that they are fat phobic if they exercise saying that the BMI scale is racist I mean we've seen some really cringy things but this stuff goes beyond that okay let's begin oh yeah I haven't been saying this make sure to subscribe or I will actually eat your Oreos all right we're starting off strong with uh, a TikTok girl, I mean classic, uh, is bleaching your hair blonde phobic. I think that's a new word. Uh, don't think I've heard that one before. Blonde phobic. As you can see, we've got a little animated blonde girl over there, and then it says hashtag uh, oppressed with oppressed spelled wrong. Uh, hashtag oppression. Uh, that cancelled girl. I mean, I can kind of tell why you've been cancelled. I mean, there's very few people who get cancelled justly. I think you're one of them. I mean, I don't know what it is with the internet, but I swear to God, every single person wants to appear oppressed in some way. Like, any group of people. It was like, fat people, then like, uh, a, a random white guy. Like, and now random blonde white chicks want to appear oppressed. Like, get over yourself. God damn. Alright, this one, we're kind of missing a little bit of context, but I don't think it really matters. This person says, I'm black and this doesn't even offend me, come on ma'am. Essentially, it's probably some altercation on Twitter where someone gets offended over something very minute. And then this person responds, you must not care about your race as much as I care about yours. Hmm... Can we, can we just take a moment? Do, the, do this exercise with me. Take a deep breath. Hmm. Let's just take a moment and ponder what this absolutely intelligent woman just said. You must not care about your race as much as I care about yours. Of course the white woman cares more about black people than the black guy himself. Of course! I mean, this is just a classic case of a white woman Twitter warrior thinking that she's impacting the world in some way, when in reality, nobody really cares about such minute things. Please go get a life and actually fight a Depression. How about that? Here we have someone who's uh, a little bit confused. I mean, I, I think this is probably a kid or something and they're just kind of confused with pronouns and how they work. So this person says, does he slash they count as white? Huh. Uh, reply to this person, whatever. Uh, I mean, am I still white if I go by he slash they? So there's a bunch, <laughs> there's a bunch wrong here. First off, by. I mean, okay, that's the wrong buy. Second off, I don't think your pronouns define your race. I mean, I'm, I'm no expert, I'm just saying. Here we have uh, a yearbook, is that what it's called? I'm, I'm not sure. It's like listing all graduates from uh, a school slash university, not too sure. And then this guy says, Dear Math, please grow up and solve your own problems. I'm tired of solving them for you. And then the next one is listing a bunch of uh, Japanese characters. I mean, I don't recognize a lot of these but I do recognize some. Is Asuna from Sword Art Online? Is that what this guy's talking about? Those are my wife? Fellas, I don't know about you, but I think we've spotted a weeb. Here we have a girl who says, I knew right away how the frick do you spell immediate that that is possibly the worst way you could have possibly spelt that if i handed a pen to a newborn toddler they would probably do a better job of spelling immediately here we have a post in 4k ultra hd quality uh this person says me plays fortnite mom you chose death me uh 360 no scopes mom mom dies of death <laughs> dies of death and then me starts mm, rapping uh i think that's what he meant to say so i guess today we're delving deep into the mind of a kid who plays fortnite i mean he, he dreams of 360 no scoping his mom his mom dying of death i mean that's probably the worst disease you can die of like 
Tuberculosis, no. Jaundice, no. Just dies of death. The death itself is a die. Also, I gotta say, this is probably one of the most common misspellings on the internet for kids. They just mix up uh, a very bad word with rapping. I mean, unless this kid is actually messed up and he didn't misspell it and he actually wants to R-word his mom, in which case, I don't know, get help. Hey, are you sleeping? Yeah, now shut up. All continents start and end with the same letter. Oh, do they? Do they? Asia, Antarctica, uh, whatever, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna check. All but Europe. Oh, right. Uh, and what about South America and North America? And they are both Americans. Uh, okay. I guess there is an argument on that, but Europe definitely doesn't. Americas. You dumbass, Europe is not a continent. Okay, I'm like 99.5% sure that Europe is a continent, but- just so that I don't look stupid on the internet, I think I gotta Google this. Okay, um, by most standards, Earth has seven continents. Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, slash Oceania, okay. Europe, North America, South America. Yeah, Europe, there we go. Okay, here we have more of, I think, Minecraft Twitter. I don't know who Fundy is. He's either a Minecrafter or a Fortnite or one of them. But uh, this person says, I think this is a very obsessive stan. Uh, violence and non-con comes off as NSFW, but it's not supposed to be. I want him to trust me. I want him to think that he's safe and then kidnap him, break his leg so he can't escape and use him. Heart, heart, heart. He's so pretty and for what? I will grab him by the hair and drag him. He. Well, and then there's four pictures of Fundy in uh, a maid's outfit, I guess. Bro, I knew these stands were messed up, but Jesus Christ, you need to be arrested. Like, this is straight up wrong, man. This is just going too far. I, I bet it makes the content creators feel uncomfortable as well. If you're okay with this, I mean, you're weird as well, bro. I don't know. Here we got TikTok making a return. Uh, we should normalize having feelings towards our cousins slash siblings. You can't control your feelings, and it's not even that bad. And then they did a poll of agree and disagree, and it's 97% disagree. Honestly, it's kind of scary that it's 3% agree, but I, I, I think people are trolling. There's so many fish in the sea, but you have to choose your own flesh and blood. It's just disgusting. You grew up with them. Eh. Only TikTok, man. I swear to God. So here we got a comment which says, mom, uh, one flag, dad, another flag, and me, and then there's four flag so how does that work um i love anime and k-pop so that just adds two countries i guess i mean now that you say that i do love uh italian food indian food american food british food korean food chinese f i think i love all types of i i'm gonna add a bunch of flags call me ollie london because i be multi-country baby here we got a classic text conversation with Carmen, uh, hi, I had a really nice time, but we didn't really click, I'm sorry. Bet, um, what is bet? I just googled it. Seems like a weird response to what I said, but okay, have a good day. Not even gonna say have a good day back, you're an a-hole. Just because I rejected you? Lol, get over yourself, this is college stuff. It happens, not everything works out. And then the hard n-word, mm, mm, I'm changing my phone number, don't ever text me again. Wow, that, that turned sour real quick. Okay, here we have a post regarding Nico Lol, uh, the OK Boomer girl, and it's on her reddit, r slash Nico Lol. From Nico Lol's 11.13 stream, I was able to get one good shot of her foot. Uh, bro get help please. So, apparently some- some dude waited around her entire stream, waiting for her to get up to get a picture of her foot. I mean, honestly, in pretty much every single female streamer stream, you, you'll see a bunch of weirdos just sitting around waiting for them to make the slightest movement. They just sit there for hours and hours and then screenshot their butt or something. This is the first I'm hearing of a foot fetish, but Jesus Christ, it's equally weird. Here we have another conversation. Hey Dan, I had a great time tonight, and thank you for covering the tickets and dinner. I really think you're a great guy, but I don't think we'll have a second date. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, that's totally fine. I understand. Could I maybe ask why or what changed your mind? So I checked your astrology chart on Snapchat and saw that you're an Aquarius. 
Ah, uh, it's the astrology girls. I cannot stand these, man. I haven't really had the best of relationships with them, and in the past, it's all ended in pain and me being more hurt than before. I'm sure you're a great guy and you're a sweetheart to me tonight, but I don't think it'll work out for us. Oh, okay. Can you Venmo me $42 for the movies and dinner? I mean, honestly, I'd ask for my money back as well. You just spent your money on an astrology chick. Well, you can't get over it. You, you've pondered this relationship so much and you reject them for astrology? Bro, this is, this is just a random time of the year that you're born. How does that have anything to do with the day? And you said he was a sweetheart to you. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, honestly, credit to the guy. He's dodging a bullet, I guess, because you don't want no astrology chick. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day ahead. Comment Doritos if you made it this far. Bye bye.